Fort Wayne is getting hundreds of new affordable homes in the next phase of the area's revitalization. But some of the funds for the project are coming from tax dollars and not everyone is a fan of the idea. Fox 55's Brianna Bias tells us what developments are in store for the area and how the city is paying for them. Loretta Kelty with Belmont Beverage already stays really busy at work. We are about uh, the second one in this district for top sales. But her store on the corner of South Anthony Boulevard and McKinney Avenue could soon get a lot busier. The city is building a 20-acre neighborhood called Village Premier right across the street. And City Councilman Jason Arp says this project is a long time coming for the southeast side. They had started it once before, if I'm not mistaken, about five years ago. and. It, just didn't get off the ground and so this is kind of a, a reboot to that project with a different developer. City Council approved the first phase of the project Monday so developer Michael Kinder and Sons can start building 200 homes for lower income residents. The city is using a tax increment funding strategy to subsidize the 55 million dollar development and even though ARP fully supports the idea of growth in southeast Fort Wayne he voted no on the redevelopment. Typically I don't like taxpayer funding of, of projects particularly ones that are owned privately private industry should be able to you know, stand on its own two legs and not use taxpayer money. But he agrees with Councilwoman Sharon Tucker that affordable housing is badly needed. Housing right now is a challenge for every single person and specifically for those that live southeast Fort Wayne. Tucker lives in the district of the future neighborhood and says she understands where ARP is coming from but thinks that this project should be a tax dollar exception. While we are investing large amounts of public dollars into um, the electric works, there are other communities that need the same support and so to me this is a small sacrifice in order to see a tremendous gain. She doesn't know when the project will be finished but she can't wait to see the bulldozers roll in and neither can Kelty because that means the possibility of new clientele. Love to make new friends come on in. I'd love to see new faces everything else. In Fort Wayne I'm Brianna Bias Fox 55 News.